morning, Tinkercad friends. I am back, and today I got another lesson I'd like you to do with Create a New Design, and I want us to make a really cool Tinkercad jet. So, let's get cracking. Let's start by renaming our file Tinkercad Jet, and let's make the body of our jet with a cylinder. When you bring the cylinder out, set it in the middle. Make sure you're looking at it from the side. So I'm going to go corner right so I can see it. And then I'm going to use this rotate handle staying close to the shape so I can rotate it 90 degrees. And then I want it to be right on the base. So I'm going to hit D for drop. So it's right on my work plane. I'm going to take it and stretch it using the black handle. Let's make it 70 long. And I'm going to type the number because I find that to be the easiest way to get it exactly where I want. And then I want my tube to be 10 by 10, so I'm going to type 10 on this side. And I'm going to type 10 on this dimension over here. Once again, keeping the 70 for how long my airplane is going to be. I'm going to add a nose to my airplane. Once again, you can use any of these pieces or you can go to the... Uh, fancy all shapes and use the ones we've explored different days. I'm going to simply use the cone. The first step, of course, is to hit work plane, which is the letter W, so that when you bring your cone out, it attaches to the front of your shape. This is really cool. I need you to hold shift and drag one corner a little bit, and then when you let go and type the number 10, it snaps all the corners to that exact same size. I'm going to then grab everything and I'm going to use the align tool so that they center pop pop and it's all lined up. If I look from the corner I can tell that it's attached and it is looking awesome. Let's put our work plane back down to the normal work plane by clicking work plane and clicking that. So let's grab our awesome shape and let's group it. If you want to do multicolor, you may. Remember, you simply click this and this. And let's also make sure it's on the work plane by with it selected, clicking D to drop it to the right height. Let's switch to all shapes and find the awesome swept NASA. I have found that it is on page five. For me, yours may be different. When you bring this little fella out, let's use this for the tail fin and let's also use it for the wings. You can adjust it with these amazing numbers. If you've got a custom wing that you want to make, I like to just shrink and adjust and make it look the way I want visually. I'm going to use the very cool fit view to selection so I can zoom in on it. This is going to be my tail fin, so I'm going to rotate it around. Notice if I stay close to the shape, it snaps right to those angles. And I know that my uh, tail fin needs to be 10 high, so I'm going to lift it a little. And I'm going to type 10 so that it now lines up with the shape that I created earlier. Let's click center. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it all better. So now I have centered it on this direction. And then I want to make sure it's to the back. I'm going to zoom in on that tail fin just so I can see how good it's connected or how well it's connected. And I want to move it down a couple so it's in my shape for sure. Tweak, make it however you want. You could do something crazy like having two of these coming out of the back. That's up to you. This same fella is going to be our wing. So do control D. Use the arrow keys to move that out so you can see which one you're adjusting. Since I am looking at it from the back, it is real easy to find the rotation tab. And I can rotate it 90 degrees and then drop it down with the letter D so it's more at a wing level. I'm going to use the arrow key to nudge it forward. I'm going to stretch it out so that it's nice and long. I'm going to look at it from a top corner so I can adjust the shape of it so it does what I want. I want my wing to be back a little bit further. And then I want to make its duplicate, but before I do, I want to hide my body so that my two wings can be attached right to each other. So I'm going to do Control D. It blinks so I can tell that it did duplicate. And then I'm going to hit Flip, and I want to flip it along this side so now my two wings are able to be connected right to each other. 
I'm going to grab those two shapes and I'm going to use a line so they're aligned up at the top. I'm going to click on this edge and I'm going to fit the view. All right, I want to connect this wing to the other wing, and this is one of my favorite tricks. If you hit the letter W and click on the flat place of the other wing, when you hit the letter D, it drops it right into that spot. So now they are totally connected. Grab the two wings and group them. Use your show all to bring back your airplane and your wings. Let's set our work plane back to the normal work plane. Let's grab all three of our items and let's center them in this plane on the x-axis. Our plane is looking pretty sweet. Now we can simply grab it all and group it. Let's real quickly go back to the basic shapes and add an awesome canopy to our jet or airplane. I'm going to do it with the half sphere. I'm going to bring the sphere out and make it skinny. My whole uh, plane, remember, was 10, so if I make it 9, that means it'll fit. I'm going to shrink it down, change it from solid to gray, and I'm also going to make it transparent. I'm going to align it so that it's centered. And then I'm going to use the lift technique to lift it up, and I'm going to go 9 in the air. So I click and make it wackadoodle, change it to 9. And then if I slide it back with the arrow keys, I should be able to find a cool place to attach it. Let's use fit view and see if we like how high it is. Looks like maybe nine was too high. So I'm gonna push it down a lot and then I'm gonna change it to eight. With the cool little window, we need to leave it not grouped because otherwise you lose your transparency, which is one of the cool features. Let's spin around to the back and add an awesome jet engine quick press w so your work plane is set on the back bring out a tube we know that we need to set it something close to 10 by 10 i'm going to shrink it a little and i'm going to set it to i'm going to go eight so that way there's room on either side i'm going to make it the color black i'm going to switch to a back view and use the arrow keys to nudge that into place uh, we cannot use the align tool because now our shape is no longer a circle. We could separate the parts. Instead, though, I'm just going to switch to a half millimeter nudge and get that as close as I can. That looks just like I want. And then I want to put my flames inside, and I'm going to do that with a simple cone, but I'm going to make it a real bright orange when I do it. So I've still got my work plane. Here comes my cone. I'm going to shrink it to that size 8 as well. Remember, this technique is to hold shift while shrinking. When you let go, if you immediately type in the box the number you want, and I'm going to go 7, then it does all of the measurements to that size. And once again, I'm going to use the nudge to get it in place. I want my jet engine to stick out just a little bit further, so I'm going to do that manually, and I'm going to make it a bright orange. Let's go back to our tube, and I want to add a bevel to it, because I think that's going to look a little bit cooler. I'm going to put a 2 on there. Ooh, I like that a lot better. I'm going to click on everything but the canopy, and I'm going to group it. Remember, we don't do that because we want to keep the transparency. I'm going to set my work plane back to the bottom. Alrighty friends, so now it is up to you to make this awesome. If you want to add wheels, they are on the all shapes. If you want to add any other cool parts, uh, you can add them on your own. There's so much room for you to make this as awesome as you want. You can see I got these wheels from the all section. I'm not really going to attach them. I'm going to let you do that. I did just notice that from the back, I don't have this pushed in far enough since I made the uh, bevel modification. So I'm just going to simply nudge that and then pull this one back with the black handle so it actually gets back on that shape again. But have fun, see what kind of awesome designs you can make and how epic yours can turn out. Thanks for watching, friends. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, 
HL Mod Tech, please click that notification bell. If you have a question or comment, please leave it below. And most of all, keep tinkering.